Welcome back. The UND men's basketball team is coming off a two win week at the Betty, including a thrilling overtime victory over Northern Arizona. They're back at home this weekend to take on Northern Colorado before playing their final two games of the Big Sky regular season on the road. For more on the Fighting Hawks, here's Alex Heinert with head coach Brian Jones. Thanks, Kelly. Well, Brian Jones, hey, congratulations. A home sweep this past week over Southern Utah and Northern Arizona. A couple of close games, but your team found a way in both contests to get the W. It was. It wasn't always pretty, but I think in the end, that's you just want to find a way to win a game. Yeah. And I think that the thing, I saw growth. Both games were tight. We finally won an overtime game this season. Mm -hmm. So it's it wasn't as smooth as we wanted it, but it, uh, as I said, I thought there was growth. There were some things we can definitely build upon, but obviously there's some things we need to continue to improve upon as well. So uh, it's that time of the year. You're, you're either moving up or you're moving down. So hopefully with this last week, we're able to, uh, you know, getting a little bit of rhythm, start moving up. Yeah, the game against the T-Birds, uh, a little bit of everything. It struggled a little bit early in the first half, came back in a big way in the second. Outside of Geno Crandall, the starters maybe struggled to score the basketball, your, but your bench, though, stepped up in a big way. Yeah, on Thursday night, our bench was the reason why we won the game. And I thought going in, uh, you know, as a coach, I said the difference in this game, I felt, was going to be our bench. Whose bench? I thought the teams were pretty even, uh, their first five, but whose bench was going to be able to come in and give them more, whether it's a def defensive effort or even scoring the basketball, as you just mentioned. So, uh, Obviously, Keenan Walter had a, a big night for us on that Thursday night and was able to shoot, uh, make some perimeter shots for us. But then, no different on Saturday afternoon, uh, Billy came in and, and, and gave us a big spark as well. Yeah, 15 big points from Keenan Walter in that win over the T-Birds on Thursday. Gino Crandall with the big shot down the stretch to put you up by one with 17 seconds left. And then things got a little interesting down the stretch. Some missed free throws, some fouls. Just talk me through what was going on over the final 15 <laughs> seconds or so. Well, uh, you know, Marlon, I think he gets up there and he's a, he's a very good foul shooter. He misses the front end one on one. And then, um, you know, it was a, a good defensive play. And we, you know, we had a switch scenario going on where he was guarding a big and he just got wrapped up in them. And they missed the front end of one on one. And we come down and get fouled. And he makes two. So it was really nutty, but it was, that's kind of, uh, it's that time of the year right now. There's a lot of weird things going on in basketball. That's why you got to stay the course and you can't relax mentally at the foul line, defensively or offensively. I think sometimes teams forget to block out in those scenarios. But you know, in the end, I, I felt uh, we we had a strong showing down the uh, down the stretch and had a lot of confidence. And that to me, that kind of built over till Saturday too. We needed that because uh, when you find ways to win uh, close games when they're not pretty, I think it just continues to build your confidence. I thought it was great that Marlon who committed the foul, missed the free throw, then got the defensive rebound off the miss, got fouled, made both free throws at the other end. It's nice for him to have a little redemption at the end of that contest. It is. I mean, obviously he didn't mean to foul. He didn't mean to miss the front end of the one-on-one, -on -one, but you, sometimes you just you just need those scenarios to where you can redeem yourself just more for your self-confidence and, and knowing that you're better than that. And he's such a competitive kid, and, and I was definitely proud of him the whole week, the way he... Uh, obviously, he scored the ball a little bit, but the way he, he was able to get a lot of assists, to turn, you know, a lot of assists and limited turnovers for us, and really share the basketball against Northern Arizona on Saturday. You mentioned the assists. That was the story of this game: 24 assists on 29 made field goals. Maybe the best your team has moved the basketball all season. Coach. And that's what we, we've talked about. We've when we've shown uh, when we're playing at our best offensively is we're moving the ball. Uh, we did it uh, at Weber State, it was the, the most recent game, and, and, and that's why we were in the game and had a chance to win at the end. But that's what we just, we constantly are challenging our guys that way. We have a lot of different weapons, a lot of unique weapons, but it's when the ball is moving and that's, I say sticky, coach's turn, when it stays in somebody's hands too long, we become easy to guard. So we're just really stressing that. Keep the ball moving, keep bodies moving. And I thought our guys did a great job. We weren't really prepared for that zone because they don't zone a whole lot. So our guy, I thought our guy, there was growth there. They were able to come out and play against about 35 minutes of zone and, and really share the ball. We made 15 threes, a, a thing I know our team can shoot. Uh, and we put a lot of extra time in it. So it, just, it was kind of everything just kind of came together. But it just shows you how good this league is. NAU's only got one league win, yeah. and, they're, and they're a tough matchup. They play hard. Yeah, and they shot 80% in the yeah. second well, half, which got them yeah. back in the contest and yeah, forced that's... overtime. Your team, though, was perfect from the field and from the free throw line in the extra frame to get that first overtime victory of the season in four tries. Well, we needed to be. <laughs> Obviously, we had a big, uh, the game I felt should have never gone to overtime. We had we had some silly mistakes down the stretch, but we'll learn from that. Uh, but as I just mentioned, just the growth of, of finding a way to win and, and overtime when you probably felt you should have won in regulation. Some teams will uh, hang their heads and let their dauber down instead of just keep grinding and fighting and and, and so there's five minutes of game left, and let's find a way to, to, to win the game. Yeah, big back-to-back -back wins now for UND. Ninth place in the conference, and a chance to keep moving up with a big road game, or big home game, excuse yeah. me, coming up against Northern Colorado. You finish out the home slate of the season this Saturday at 3 o'clock against a team who you fell to in overtime on a half-court shot 
the last time you played them. These two teams always very evenly matched. <laughs> what do you expect this weekend? Uh, another overtime game. It's just, that's <laughs> what it is. I, I will say this for our fans. You're going to see some guard play from Northern Colorado as good as guards they've seen in this building in a long time. Um, and Spite and Davis. So they're, they're well coached. They play hard. They're a lot like us. They're undersized, but they're, they just have a lot of grit to them. And obviously they're competing for a, uh, a top seed in the tournament. So we have, we need momentum going into it. It's our senior day. It's our last day in front of our home crowd for this season. We want to be able to play and send Dale Jones off the right way. But just to say thank you to our fans for sticking with us through this up and down season. Uh, they deserve that and our kids deserve that. And that's our hope. We're just going to come out and compete and fight. Great chance to see this team one last time here at home. Saturday at 3 against the Bears. Coach, thanks again for the right. time. Best Thank of luck you. this weekend. Thank you. Brian Jones. Kelly, back to you. All right, thanks so much, Alex. If you can't make it to the Betty on Saturday, you can find links to live audio, video, on, and stats on UNDsports.com. Coming up after the break, our own Elena Lanson has Augie Men's Hoops head coach Tom Billiter in studio to chat about the Vikings as they head into the NSIC tournament. Stay right here.